All right, today's video is going to cover user definable M and G codes that you can put into a G code program. So if we go to our program parameters, I'm in an NC program right now. You can see that I have an NC program active. I'm going to uh, click on the NC parameters from inside the program parameters. And I have a tab for NC, M, and G parameters, G code parameters. This is going to allow me to, first of all, do I am I going to enable the M, G codes, S codes, and so forth? They're all going to work the same way. But if I want to give a new, a new M code to do something, a new G code, I simply would pick one of these empty spaces where there's a zero. Let's say that I wanted uh, this, an M code of 300. I would just type in 300. And that is going to then be associated with a macro program or some kind of sub program of this name next to it. So in this example, I would call M300 in the program, which would then jump out and use my sub program 9001. As long as that program was loaded into my program manager, it was one of the programs that were open, just like when we're doing NC merge or something like that, that program has to be open in the manager, not the active program, but it does have to be available. And the four digits at the top of that program need to match whatever the subprogram that's going to be called with that M code. And then this is just an example of a tool change uh, location change. It's just a macro someone had written for that. But it shows that anytime we would call that M300, it would then call up subprogram that's associated with that, in this case 9001. It would execute that program and then end with an M99, which would then jump us back into the program that we came from. So hopefully that made sense. And we can do that for M codes, G codes, S codes. There's a lot of different things that you can turn on and off. And here is how you do that and to be able to enable those particular um, selections and those pages that you can get to. And you also have a selection here for whether you want this to be an NC only code, or if I can use it in the adding a uh, machine function or an M code to a conversational program, do I want it to work there as well? So that's just one way that you can help customize your NC programs for special cases that you might want to do a pallet changer um, or something like that, where you need to run a, uh, uh, a sub program basically, but you want to be able to call that with a simple M or G code.